The chap on the left is PC Pete Roach. Pete Roach is our antisocial behaviour officer. He deals with ASBOs, that kind of thing. Um, we do uh, work on drugs, we work within schools, anything to do with young people, bridging gaps, making uh, uh, relationships with young people better between them and the police, that kind of thing. But we always try to get to events like this so that anybody can really ask us questions on anything police related, anything uh, they want to know. And a little bit later, uh, we'll be in the big brother tent there where young people can ask us any questions on specific topics. Well, I work for the South Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service and as part of our community incentive of being computer fire, fire, fire officers, uh, we're installing smoke alarms on people's property. Um, well, it's, it's working on the fact that it's prevention rather than cure. Um, we fit the smoke alarms, obviously people react to the smoke alarms, making their place, their home, a more safe place. Um, we're also showing the fire engine, because we are a community fire fire service, we're interacting with members of the public within our, within our station area. So they'll come up and ask questions on fire safety, what do we do, what equipment do we carry on the fire engine, and it's all part of that, that main goal, to interact with members of the community. I'm here with JobNet. JobNet is set up to help unemployed people back into full-time work. We help create CVs and do job search and with younger people we refer them to organisations like Connections who are set up to help them with learning, with training and with work. Does Radio Sheffield is naturally a branch of the BBC, the Greater BBC, uh, and it's funded by the taxpayers, the licence payers' money. But what's most important about places like Radio Sheffield and Radio Leeds and Radio York and Radio Humberside is that they all specifically try and deal with the uh, local community. So for us in BBC Radio Sheffield, uh, we've got our own BBC Radio Sheffield. Uh, Radio car over here, you see this, right? And if you want to come over this way, I'm, I'm directing now as well as. Uh, yeah. <laughs> here we've got the BBC bus where people can come along to the bus. We've got computers in there with all kinds of technology. They can find out about broadcasting, find out about journalism, find out what the BBC does. The thing about BBC Radio Sheffield is it just doesn't cover the, the city of Sheffield, it covers a region, and it's South Yorkshire uh, and the uh, North Derbyshire area. So. We have regular listeners in Chesterfield, out around Bakewell and all that, way out in the Dales, then up as far as Barnsley, we've got Rotherham, as I said, I mentioned Chesterfield, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, Stocksbridge, Penniston, all that area. But, it's very important, I know people that live in places like Wakefield, Leeds, uh, and places like that, that still listen to Radio Sheffield, they can pick us up there. And of course, Doncaster is one of our, uh, one of our towns. So, anything that's happening in any of those towns and all the villages around them, that's what we are concerned with and we like to get out and about meet people that's what the BBC bus is here for and that's what we're here for <laughs> 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 